The Story of Ryu, the Wandering World Warrior. As a very young child, Ryu was orphaned and left with no memories about his parents, and whether they were still alive. He was found and adopted by a man named Gukin who raised Ryu in his secluded dojo and trained Ryu in the ways of his martial arts. Shortly afterwards, Gukin would later train his best friend's spoiled son, Ken Masters. Ken served not only as a sparring partner, but also gave Ryu a friend in the form of a boy his own age. Ryu looked up to Gukin as a father figure, and regards Ken as his best friend and surrogate brother, a relationship which remains to this day. When Ryu turned 23 years old, Gukin believed that Ryu was ready to travel the world in order to test and hone his martial skills against the best fighters from around the world. With this, Ryu left Gukin's dojo, and headed to fight in the World Warrior Tournament. Ryu is one of the participants of the World Warrior Tournament. After defeating all challengers, Ryu's skills earn him the right to fight its host, Sagat. Sagat nearly beats Ryu into unconsciousness and, thinking he had won, drops his guard to help Ryu up. Ryu, however, allows himself to be engulfed by the Satsui no Hado and strikes Sagat with a nearly fatal Metsu Shuri Yukin that not only knocks Sagat unconscious, but also marks his chest with a great scar. After regaining consciousness and discovering what had happened, Sagat swears vengeance on Ryu. While it wasn't revealed at the time, when Ryu scarred Sagat, some of his Hado passed to Sagat. Ryu leaves Sagat behind and returns to his home, only to find that Gukan, his master and adoptive father, has apparently been murdered. Learning that Akuma had fought and supposedly killed his master, Ryu began to travel the world to find this man. He encounters and fights Akuma on a secluded island known as Gokyun 2, and wins. However, Akuma was only testing him, and senses that Ryu has the same powers as he does. He proceeds to tell Ryu about the Satsui no Hado, a power that consumes the practitioners of their shared fighting style, driving them to win even when it means killing the opponent. Akuma then uses his fist to smash the island, leaving Ryu stranded. Sometime after escaping the island, Ryu battles Ken and loses. Ken realizes Ryu is not himself, as he has been deeply troubled since his last victory over Sagat. Ken gives him his red hair band as a reminder to stay focused, which Ryu was sincerely grateful for. Soon thereafter, a fan of his, named Sura, comes up and expresses her desire to train under him. Ryu replies that he himself still has much to learn, but allows Sura to take a picture of him for now. During the World Warrior Tournament, Ryu enters to test his skills, and defeats many of the new warriors. He encourages Ken to re-enter as well. During the tournament, he helps Skyle, Ken, Chun-Li and Kami defeat Bison. However, Bison refused Guile's offer to surrender himself to the military before unleashing all of his psycho power to commit suicide and it is unknown how far Ryu himself progressed in the tournament, although it is implied he may have lost to Ken. Other sources on the other hand support the idea that he's the tournament winner. In his non-canon ending, he shortly leaves the tournament after he wins against Bison, and revisits his master's grave to tell about his victory and the experiences he had with the other fighters. Ryu then states that the ultimate battle is out the waiting for him and departs, stating that the fight is everything. In HD Remix, Ryu appears in Ken's ending, appearing in a somewhat blurry photo with Guile wearing a tuxedo but still wearing his red headband. This is the first time Ryu is seen wearing anything other than his GI. After the Second World Warrior Tournament, Ryu continued his journey and wound up in an isolated desert where he drained. Ryu then remembers his argument with Akuma, with Akuma urging Ryu to give in to the Dark Hado or else he will kill him. Ryu then leaves the desert and goes to a bar where he meets a biker. The biker then tells him a story about an American martial arts champion who abandoned his family. Believing it to be Ken, Ryu visits the house of the said champion but is ambushed by C. Viper. During the fight, 
Ryu tries to fight off the secret agent but was no match for her. Suddenly, the Delta Red agent Kami then attempts to ambush C. Viper. However, Kami was also no match for Viper and Viper then tortures Kami, in which the Dark Hado then takes over Ryu and engages C. Viper but would easily defeat her. Luckily for Viper, she manages to escape the possessed Ryu. Angered, Ryu then slaughters multiple SIN scientists who witnessed the fight until Ken, Chun-Li, Guile, and Sora arrive to save Ryu and help Kami. Sora would then restrain the possessed Ryu as Ken calls the hospital to help Kami. Ryu would then regain his consciousness and realize what he has done. After being sent to Ken's mansion, Ryu realizes he is being targeted by SIN and its leader Seth for their evil plans. With Guile's plan to infiltrate Seth's cruise ship to incarcerate him, Ryu then tags along, knowing that Seth would be waiting for him. After traveling to the base, Ryu and Ken then dispatch multiple SIN thugs before Ryu encounters Seth himself. Ryu and Seth then engage, with Seth easily overpowering Ryu and giving him his twisted philosophy of power. Ryu then admits that he never understood what power is and that he understands Seth's philosophy for stating that the power he describes is not what he's after. Seth, unamused, continues beating up Ryu before Ryu awakens a new power and nearly kills Seth with it. Ryu then collapses from this power, and senses it in Ken. A few days later, Ryu and Ken then part ways, with Ryu stating that they will meet again. Ryu then enters into a new tournament to further master his skills as well as reunite with his longtime friend Ken for another rematch. During his journey, he meets up with Sora whom he encourages to train harder. Meanwhile Ryu also meets up with Sagat once more, the two fight, and while the result of the fight is unknown, it is implied that Ryu won. During the final round with the tournament host Seth, actually a copy of him, he defeats him in the SIN headquarters. During and after this battle a building fell around them as Ryu unleashed the Satsui no Hido on the Bless Machine, a weapon of mass destruction developed by SIN that harnessed the energy in the human body. During this, Sura, who has been searching for Ryu, finds him and the Bless Machine, and a pulse of energy from it knocks her into a wall. Ryu defends her by unleashing a Shoryuken on the machine, and they leave the building together, the weapon destroyed. He then encounters Gukan, who has in fact survived his last battle with Akuma, and Gukan uses the power of nothingness to seal the Satsui no Hado which is eating at Ryu, knocking him unconscious. Akuma then arrives on the scene to challenge his brother for a death duel, the winner of which will claim the cub, meaning Ryu. The outcome of the duel is unknown but, since Ryu is later seen free of Dark Hado's influence, it is very likely that either Gukan won or the battle ended in a draw, possibly interrupted. Later, Ryu and Ken chase their long lost master along a cliff face, with Ken wanting Gukan to stick around while Ryu wishes him well. Afterwards, he and Ken are walking through the desert while Rufus mocks them on his motorcycle though it later breaks down and he is left pushing it while Ryu and Ken drives by, in Ken's jeep. Ryu later bids Sura farewell as she, Dan and Blanca leave for home on a cruise ship. Some time later, having decided that his battles have made him stronger, he meets a now older Sura. What happens next is unknown, although Gukan might have taught Ryu the Shinshoryuken and Denjin Hadoken at some point before Street Fighter 3. In his dream, he is fighting against his evil self, claiming to him that the power to kill will make him stronger, which Ryu ultimately rejects it. Gukan is in a sparring match during the incident. Ryu charges himself in the Satsui no Hado and attempts to hit his master with a single Hadoken. It explodes in a flash of light. Ryu wakes up from his dream with Gukan telling him that the Satsui no Hado almost consumed him. Rashid and Azam find Ryu, introducing himself as a hero who travels the world. Gukan questions Rashid why he comes to see Ryu. Rashid states he wants to challenge Ryu in a match which is to test his mettle. Ryu doesn't immediately get up to fight, 
worrying about the Satsui no Hado, which confuses Rashid and Hazguk and questioning him why he didn't do it, citing Ryu's quote the answer lies in the heart of battle. Ryu eventually gets up and spars with Rashid, resulting in a victory. Rashid learns from the fight about himself. He thanks Ryu for the lesson and leaves. Ryu decides that he should leave, too, and better understand his power. Gukin tells Ryu to meet Ken, who has been concerned about him. Ryu and Ken finally meet in Brazil. Ken was told by Gukin about Ryu's struggles with the Satsui no Hado and thinks a good match can solve it, so they fight. Afterwards, Ryu still worries about the Satsui no Hado. Ken reassures Ryu that if Ryu falls over to the dark side, he'll take him down and stop it. Ken tells Ryu to just relax and fight. Ryu goes to China and gets ambushed by a Shadaloo soldier. Nash comes in and takes down the soldier. Nash expected to see Ryu, which triggers a bit of Satsui no Hado within him. Nash says they have to fight so he can understand the power and know its limits. The fight ultimately ends in a draw. Nash is surprised by the power, having it surpass his expectations. Ryu tells him that he tries to suppress the power and struggles with it, but has decided to not let it take him over, which Nash respects. Ryu thanks him for the fight and Nash leaves. Ryu appears in his alpha appearance during Ken's flashback from his prologue story where he loses to Ken in the events of Street Fighter Alpha 2. Ryu appears in Rashid's prologue story as a counterpart of his prologue story, showing the full result of the fight. In Laura's prologue story, Ryu was challenged by Laura who is seeking to fight worthy opponents and became thrilled about the Satsui no Hado he utilizes in the fight. A simulation version of Ryu, in his alpha appearance, appears in Alex's prologue story and scars Alex from his right cheek before the latter takes him down. Ryu appears in Akuma's prologue story. Akuma challenges him in a fight in a battle between the light and the darkness which is both the Satsui no Hado and the Mu no Ken. Akuma defeats Ryu, who tells him that he had walked into the path of the demon to which Ryu makes him answer his question while on the ground. Akuma tells him that they will cross paths someday and he will confront him at the end of his journey. Ryu appears in E. Honda's character story where he was meditating at his bathhouse while being drenched with warm water only free. Honda to scold him leading both of them to fight and he loses. Honda gives Ryu some proper advice by relaxing at the tub which he became much more relaxed. Ryu meets with Dilsim, training Mei Esh, and says he is still struggling with the Satsui no Hado and needs help. They decide to have a spa. After the spa, Dulcim tells him that suppressing the power will eventually lead to the power consuming him. He tells him that he needs to face the Hado and conquer it. Nakole drops down from above, looking to consume fighters' souls. Dulcim defends Mayesh while Ryu fights Nakole. Nakole overpowers Ryu, which almost triggers his dark power. Dulcim takes Ryu's punch, proclaiming that he can't let the Hado take him over. Dilsim fights off Nikoli. Ryu notices a black moon veering over and blocking the sun, which gives him visions of M. Bison. Nikoli eventually melts away temporarily. He is told about Nikoli by Dilsim, telling him that Nikoli is an ancient being that consumes warriors' souls and only appears when many warriors are needed in a crisis. Ryu concludes that the world is in crisis because of the black moons. Ryu finally joins up with Ken, Chun-Li and Karen as they team up to make a final assault against Shade Alu. As Chun-Li defeats F.A.N.G. while rescuing Li Fen, Ryu finally faces off against Bison, who is ready to challenge him, and Ryu states that his strength was to push forward and he is ready to fight him. After an epic long battle, Bison isn't giving up yet, until Ryu hits him with a Hadouken, infused with the power of nothingness, seemingly hinting at Ryu's mastery of the power and a sublimation of the Satsui no Hado. Bison's body begins to crack as it dissipates in a flash of light, defeating the madman. As the base is about to destroy it, Ryu, Guile, 
Chun-Li and Li Fen escape, Chun-Li is slow to catch up, so Ryu uses his Denjin Hadouken to stop the fires from the explosion. After the incident, Ryu is meditating as Ken visits him for the second time. He challenges him for a friendly sparring match as he tells Ryu to prove if he already found his answer. Ryu is able to defeat Ken as Ken also manages to knock Ryu's red headband. As it falls on the ground, Ryu realizes that he already found his answer of his true strength. As he gets his headband, Ken is happy to see his friend has grown, and Ryu also says that he still needs his headband for the battle. The two are later seen having a friendly fist bump with each other. In Sora's character story which takes place after a shadow falls and his sparring match with Ken, Karen mentioned about Ryu when he participate along with the rest of the fighters in the final assault against Shadalu after her sparring match against Sora. Ryu was later sent by Karen to deal Sora's problems when Sora had bumped into him leading both to a fight. Sora defeats Ryu and became amused that her fighting skills and abilities have improved and also watch her blushed in embarrassment after an awkward situation between them when they talked about strength. He also appears in Cage's character story, taking place some time after the defeat of M. Bison and Ryu vanquishing the Satsui no Hado. He is shown meditating while Cage defeats Sagat and Akuma with the two knowing that Cage is not the actual Ryu, when Cage arrives to attempt to get Ryu to accept him since he defeated the opponents he claimed Ryu wanted to defeat. Ryu replies that he cannot deny him, but he doesn't accept that he is the actual Ryu, also stating he is not going to fight Cage. Cage, calling Ryu a coward, attacks him by force. Taking this on top of Suzaku Castle, Ryu tells Cage that he is not trying to win Cage over and is not trying to lose either. Even after Ryu loses to Cage, Ryu tells Cage that if he wants to possess Ryu, he may. Cage angrily yells out on why Ryu isn't afraid of him. Ryu replies that if Cage wants to exist, he can exist, and if Cage wants to leave, he can leave, also stating that Ryu will do whatever he chooses to. Cage replies by asking if Ryu thinks he is stronger than him, but before Cage can finish, he is struck by an unseen force, and Cage screams one final time as he finally vanishes for good, and Ryu is relieved, the one who tormented him has finally been defeated. Years later, Ryu enters the Third World Warrior Tournament to further advance his fighting abilities. His most notable fight during the tournament is against Hugo, who is able to withstand his Shin Shoryuken and hold his own. He continues his travels afterward, meeting along the way. Ryu ends up being defeated by a who likes him to be his successor. He was later seen in Oz ending, being trained by him but Ryu is unaware of Oz presence as he only heard his voice. Shortly after the tournament, Ryu meets up with Ken for a friendly match in the latter's storyline, from which he emerges the victor. Ryu later fights against Sean who has been asked by Ken to fight him. Ryu easily defeats him from time to time with just a single Hadouken as he noticed his actions. Ryu also serves as Hugo's pro wrestling tag team partner for a brief period of time before moving on, also shown in Hugo's storyline. At some point, he encounters Alex, whom he solidly defeats. Ryu encourages the young wrestler to continue honing his abilities against strong opponents. Fascinated by Ryu's skill and determined to become stronger, Alex soon sets out to find Ryu for a rematch. In his ending, Ryu is under a waterfall practicing his mind and body. He mumbles about the meaning of a true warrior, why he needs to be strong and reminisces his youthful days. A single leaf falls over him and he crushes the leaf with his left hand. Ryu believes that as long as his strong opponents and some fierce battles will excite him, he will possess the strength to move even one of his fingers and decides to keep on fighting.